back in 2011, I put together a piece of property consisting of about a mile and a half of river with uh, agriculture on both sides. Uh, from that point, uh, we established sanctuaries or bedding areas that we, that we would never invade with the exception of shed hunting season exclusively. Also broke out food plots. We put in Milo wheat and, and oats. Milo being my favorite. Milo is uh, a great crop. It, it provides bedding and it also provides uh, plenty of food for the deer and there's no better draw early season than, than Milo. Going into 2012, uh, had some high expectations, had some good bucks on the farm, so we were excited to see what, what was uh, gonna show up and then it happened and wild things showed up and, and uh, completely turned my season upside down. That was my ultimate goal was to kill that deer and nothing else. Wild thinks a deer had it all. Uh, everything but an inside spread. He had mass, he had tines, he had drop tines, double drop tines, inside points. Uh, the thing, he's a wild thing, it's the, the name fit, it fit him well. And I didn't sleep for months on end. In fact, when I finally killed him, my wife was more happy than I was that I finally had killed this deer because he consumed my thoughts all day, every day, and um, you know I probably got a better chance of getting struck by lightning than ever find a deer like that on my property again. Uh, certainly a once-in-a-lifetime buck. Mm -hmm.